So I'm going to look through the stump log and then I'm going to run the cray again and then I'm going to look through the dump log again after I added some more assembly. You see here I'm getting better at formatting the code and I found a great resource for determining the signal, the, the uh, symbols that I need to use. So um, when I'm looking at the grainy old uh, PDFs, I can uh, check to make sure that I'm using the right keystrokes. All right, I'll be back in a second. So that right there is the real gem of information right there. In its system, IOP, zero EIA, weight event, operator, fault. And I'll tell you what happened. I found it in the log, but you know, there's just an incredible amount of information in the log I don't think that I can find it again. I've been looking for it, but it's just, there's just this unbelievable amount of information here. So I'll tell you what happened, and it's this. I did not reserve the proper amount of space at the top of the file. And so one of the files contains in it at oh something in it at um, startup I think is the name of the file and it runs at startup but without that empty space at the top of the file it can't properly run a lot of things do happen anyway properly um, I'm gonna see how it, it performs but you know, we learned something anyway and thanks for taking a look. All right. Bye-bye.